you know how it is like fitness, like you kind of begin to branch out because uh -huh. once you do one thing, you can, uh -huh. you, you know, you can do another. And yeah. so, um, maybe a week later we took this workout called turbo kick, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, which you obviously know. And I just remember thinking like, it was the same kind of adrenaline rush that I got from the spin class. The difference mm -hmm. though was because there was so much happening, music and choreography and movement mm -hmm. and bodies. I literally had no choice, but to not think about anything else for that entire workout. Like it was yeah. literally like an escape, you know, yeah. like I was on an yeah. Island and nothing mattered, but what was happening in that room. Yeah. And like, that was a feeling like where I was at in my life at that time where I was like, I needed to like escape, like all of the noise, yeah. you know? Yes. yes. And so I, I just began to be obsessed with like that workout and like, obsessed in, in a couple different ways. Like number one, like I love this experience mentally. Right. Mm -hmm. And then number two, like I'm obsessed with like getting in better shape, like getting healthy, you know, mm -hmm. at that time for all the wrong reasons. Right. Like I wanted to look good in a swimsuit, like all right. of those wrong reasons that we jump into it for, but nonetheless enough to be committed to it. Right. Right. And so then like obsessed with like making connections because there were people, familiar faces that I would see every time I went to class. Right. Like, yeah. oh, I remember you like, you know, like we did this like clap at the same time. Like we made eye contact, you know, like all this stuff where you kind of begin to form those mini connections with people. And I just remember thinking like, wow, this is this is like so cool that I get to have fun and I'm, I'm burning calories and I'm like mentally else like getting getting escaped to this like place where I don't mm -hmm. have to think about all the harsh realities of life you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you are finding your people too you know mm -hmm. you finding because yeah. when you find your workout yeah. people that's a that's just a kind of a special group of people you know who who get it, it. Was. And of course turbo people are a very special group we are a special group of people <laughs> Indeed. we get turbo for yeah. hours and um I yes. think that I think that Part of our connection too, Chip, you and I is, is that cycle and that kickboxing, that turbo, like those mm. were my first loves. Those were where mm -hmm. I started 20 years ago. And like you said, it's, it's the, the adrenaline and the music and the dark room and it's the adrenaline and the music and the movement. And it, yeah. it was the same feeling, two different formats. And I mean, in a small town, we didn't have group exercise. I didn't know what group exercise was. And, you know, you stumble into that stuff. You're like, oh, dang, I can feel like this, like on purpose every day. Right. Like, right. it's amazing. Right. It's amazing. It was, you know, because growing up, like when I thought of fitness in my head, I see like people lifting heavy, heavy weights and they're like yeah. grunting and they're like yeah. vascular and all this yeah. stuff. And it looks literally like I could break something just like that. Yeah. And, yeah. and just like, you know, and if I wasn't one of those people, like I wasn't fit, like that, mm -hmm. that was the definition mm -hmm. of fit. And so it just like, kind of like you said, you meet your people. I was not only finding myself, but I was finding people who would help me find myself, you know, yes. because I was on a path where I wasn't able to figure it out myself. I needed yeah. help. Like I, yeah. and the help that I needed was people to, to look at me and say, I see you for who you are. And mm -hmm. I love you for who you are. Cause uh -huh. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see myself. I didn't, I didn't love way. myself either yeah. one. No. Yeah. And so to have people in this room that I was working out with say that to me, like smiling at me and welcoming me and like, Hey, like, are you coming to this class tomorrow? Like, you know, we're going out for, a, for dinner after we get done working out, like all of that stuff. Like I didn't even have that in school. Like I, mm -hmm. I didn't have any of that support. And so for me to like walk into this like gym that was, you know, most people would think it's just a gym. It, to me, it was literally a life changing. And I would say, it not only changed the course of my, my personal life, but it changed the trajectory of my career as well, you know? 100%. Um, and at the time, like, this is heavy and I'm okay with sharing this because it's, it's an undeniable part of my story, but like I was being sexually abused at the time as well. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that mental escape that Turbo mm -hmm. Kick gave me, like came at a time in my life when I was literally like in this crisis in my head mm -hmm. where I was like trying to understand what all of this stuff that was happening to me, you know? And so at that time, the difference in my mentality was I was thinking, why is all of this happening to me? Mm -hmm. And now I look back on it and I know it wasn't happening to me. It was happening for me. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I know that now and I wasn't able to see it then, but because I was able to like find my people, 
they were able to see something that I just couldn't see in me, you know, because I was just lost in this like fog of figuring it out. And so it, it like, it was a blessing. Like the fact that I landed in, in a class and met people and then like, it literally like, I, it's easy to say this, but like the rest of it's history because those people like, they encouraged me to be an instructor, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, and they just encouraged me and pushed me and like, you know, and those are literally still people that I talk to to this day. Like there are even family members that I don't communicate with that, that, you know, helped raise me. But yet all those people in that room working out together for an hour, like we still talk and we're still in touch. And that's how I know that like we're, we're each other's people, you know, because yeah. it's like, yeah. it was meant to be.